So, our favorite guy gave us the vindication that we all needed. We really didn't need it, but at the same time, it's fun to talk about, right? So, we may be a little bit of a day late, but we're definitely not a dollar short. We've got to talk about this. we got to break down what our guy, Colin Cowherd, over there at the Herd, decided to say about the Oklahoma Sooners recently. This was on, I believe, his Monday episode, and he talked about where Colin was right and where Colin was wrong. So we're going to jump into that, right? Before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thanks for pulling up to the channel. Let's dive into this video. So earlier, let's say get into the year, after Oklahoma had roughly the abysmal season that uh, we had, first losing season since, two, since 1998, so like 20-something years, and things looked discombobulated and disheveled, right? But kind of an expectation in a way if you paid attention to the details and what was going on at the school. Colin went after the Sooners, said this. Keep your eye on Oklahoma. Is Oklahoma going to be the second program in our adult lives that disappears? Number one, the state no longer produces big numbers of players. Of the Sooners, 26 signees in their recruiting class, three are from the state of Oklahoma. That's having to convince kids in the South, convince kids in Texas, come to us. Secondly, they joined a tougher conference. Like Nebraska, this is going to be harder. Most of those Southern kids have grown up on the SEC. Those football players want to stay with traditional SEC powers. And number three, in an offensive era, they hired a defensive coach, and he was completely, utterly over his skis. They didn't get the coach right. I'm just saying, I may be wrong. Oklahoma's a great brand. But Lincoln Riley, remember, you don't necessarily leave a great top 6-7 program historically. But why did Brian Kelly leave Notre Dame? And why did Lincoln Riley leave Oklahoma? Both great coaches. Because... Brian Kelly knew when he faced Georgia the previous couple of years and lost both times, Georgia had better players. It's hard to convince kids to go to tiny, private, religious overtone Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana. It's way easier to get him to go to LSU. He went because of players. As good as Kelly is, you can only do so much when you have the second best players on a field against Bama and Georgia. And why did Lincoln Riley leave? Because he was joining the SEC, looked at it, looked at the Bamas and the Georgias and the LSUs and the Floridas and those states and those kids and their leanings, and USC was wide open. By the way, you think Lincoln Riley didn't have a gut feeling somehow, some way, kind of felt Oklahoma to the SEC was going to be a hard pull? You go into Alabama and Georgia and LSU's backyard – Welcome to SEC football. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but the three things Nebraska and Oklahoma have in common, states that don't produce a lot of high school stars, joined a conference that looks like it could be trouble for the program. Said Nebraska, right? Yeah, right. Nebraska. He thought Nebraska who the Sooners were going to be. Well, we're now, what, seven, eight weeks into the season, USC's played some games. Oklahoma's played some games. Both have shown up in a big game recently. And one team looked a lot different than the other. The Sooners look like a team built by Brent Venables. Look like something out of the book of a Bob Stoops. Something out of what a legendary Oklahoma team would look like. Colin had to admit something. Which, we're going to give him props here because I know a lot of you hate him. I still kind of like Colin. I don't like the inflammatory stuff he says sometimes, but the thing I appreciate about him is he has this segment where Colin was right and where Colin was wrong. Let's see where Brent Venables was right. Colin was wrong. Oklahoma, forget about USC, Oklahoma is rated sixth in the latest USC poll. Brett Venables, not Lincoln Riley, has developed a culture in a year and a half based on substance. Defense, they've improved. Last year, I said, I, I don't know. 
I, I've never seen an Oklahoma team that looked that disorganized. Now, they haven't played a great schedule, but they did beat Texas, and they looked like the better coach team than Texas. Lots of substance, not a ton of flash. Right now, Brent Venables is right. Okay, so when you look at those two clips, you go from Collins saying that Oklahoma's going to be Nebraska and they're going to be irrelevant because of Lincoln Riley and Riley went to USC, Hollywood, all the blah, blah, blah. And then he has to come back and eat that crow and say, the difference between the two is the culture. And yeah, that's exactly what we're getting out of Venables and staff here in this regime, in this new look Sooners. It's a culture of winning, a culture of toughness, you know, old school Oklahoma football. We left the finesse. There's not a lot of flash, which I love that Colin said that because that's something that I've tried to point out to people about the way we play now. This is not, we weren't flashy in the early 2000s when Oklahoma was winning all those games. Oklahoma was focused on being physical and present and winning. That was it. Unfortunate circumstances happen when you're super physical because injuries do happen. You know, so you know, attrition is a part of the sport. But the difference is that we've gone two to three deep physically. So that if one player is down, the next is ready to step up. We've got young players that aren't afraid of the moment that they're ready the moment another player goes down, they jump up. You've noticed that, right? Like, we lost Justin Harrington, which everyone's had questions about him the entire time he's been in Oklahoma. This year, it looked like everything had came together. But then we lost him, hoping we could get him back on a medical red shirt. But my point is, McCullough was ready. We thought McCullough would walk in and take the job. Harrington practiced better, did better in camp, and he started playing better. Now McCullough's in, and he's showing out why we were excited about him coming. You got Reggie Pearson. Key Lawrence was another one. We questioned him after last season. I don't know if he's got it. Then he came in, showed out, and they're like, oh, wow. Everybody keeps saying he has great camps, but it clicked, and it's sticking, and he's doing it. Reggie Pearson came in as a hitter. He's hitting exactly as you want. Billy Bowman, as you go down the list, Gentry Williams next to Woody Washington. The big thing is we're not the flash and all the finesse that we're used to in years past at Oklahoma. But the thing is, if we had that with this type of mentality on defense, would have been a difference maker. So adding Brent Venables, adding Jerry Schmitty. Schmitty out there got these boys working hard, playing hard. Can't beat that. And so Colin coming in and telling us kind of what we already knew. You're like, yeah, we expected this from our Sooners. We knew they would do this. We knew they would be this because this is what Oklahoma football is. It's about walking out there, busting your butt, focusing one win at a time. Go one and oh is all you got to do. You go one and oh, the next week takes care of itself. And so, of course, this weekend we've got UCF, so it's going to be a very interesting game because we're going to run up against a team that has a true RPO, quarterback that can move, but he's coming off injury, a little bit scare there. We just got to contain and do what we do best. So that's Collins' take. That's my thought on Collins' take, and I appreciate the fact that he's willing to say that he's wrong. Hop in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts. How y'all feeling? We've got a big game this weekend. Every weekend is a big game, so we're not going to downplay a single one of them. Because the goal is to always go one and up. If you made it this far, you like the content, hit the like button. New to the channel, subscribe. Love to have you join this great family of college football fans. We talk a lot of OU football, and we're adding in a bunch of college football in general as we move down the line. So, YouTube says check out one of these videos. Highly recommend it. You can watch out the old video about Colin and how I kind of told him he's missing the context now that he sees. We'll talk soon. Peace.